Hello students. Today we will discuss the topic axe eyes. So we have studied different parts of the automobile. Okay. So we know what is a differential gearbox, what is a propeller shaft, what is the function of a gearbox, then what is the function of a clutch, different types of clutches, then how the fuel supply system and power transmission system are present in the automobile. Now we are going to discuss one of the important topic, important part of a vehicle that is the axile. So what is an axile? So an axile is a straight shaft that is fixed in location and is used to mount the rotating wheels or gears. So if this is the automobile, okay, there are wheels here, okay. So in between these wheels, there is a shaft, okay, on which the wheels are mounted. So this shaft, it is fixed in a location and it is used to mount rotating wheels or gears in it. So this shaft is called as axile. So an axile is a straight shaft that is fixed in location and is used to mount rotating wheels or gears. So the wheels or gears can be attached to it with a built-in bearing or bushes. So here the wheels are not attached to the tips of this shaft but there are some bearings and bushes present in which the wheels can be attached. The wheels or gears can be attached to it. It here means to the axile with a built-in bearing or bushing. So a bearing or bushing fits inside the center of the wheels and allows it to rotate without affecting the axile itself. So the bearing or the bushing. So if this is the wheel. So at the center of this wheel, the bearing or the bushing will fit here and it will allow the wheel to rotate without affecting the axile. Axile is nothing but the shaft which is present between the two wheels. So this is the bearing and the bushing or the bushing, okay. And these are the two wheels. So this bearing and bushing will help to, which is fitted in the center of the wheel, will help for the rotation of the wheel without affecting the shaft, that is the axle. So it will allow it to rotate without affecting the axile itself. So the purpose of an axile is to secure the wheels or the gears to a specific location relative to the other wheels or gears. So what is the purpose of this axile? So axile is supposed to fix a wheel in a particular so the purpose of this axile is to fix the wheels in one particular location relative to the other wheel. Okay. So, the distance between these two wheels is covered by this axile. So, it will fix the wheel in a particular location relative to the other wheel or gear. The purpose of an axile is to secure the wheels or 
gets to a specific location relative to other wheels or wheels. So on wheeled vehicles, the axle may be fixed to the wheels rotating them. For example, in bicycle. So on the wheeled vehicles, that is two wheelers, the axle may be fixed to the wheels itself. Okay, not along the two wheels, it may be fixed to a single wheel itself. Okay, for example, bicycles, the axle will also be rotating with the wheels. Okay, in the bicycle, we can see it clearly. Or it may be fixed to the surroundings with the wheels rotating around the axle as a spindle. So, so in wheeled vehicles, the axle may be fixed to the wheel itself. So, this may be the axle. Okay. Or it may be fixed to the surroundings of the wheel. Okay. So, this may be the axle if this is the wheel. This may be the axle which is fixed at the surrounding of the wheel with the wheels rotating around the axle. So, wheel may be rotating around the axle like a spindle. So, this may be moving in this direction, okay, like a spindle. So, we can say how the position of the axle is varying in different vehicles. So, on wheeled vehicles, the axle may be fixed to the wheel, rotating with the wheels. Example is bicycle. Or, it may be fixed to the surroundings of the wheel with the wheels rotating around the axle as a spindle. So in a vehicle the axle observes braking and acceleration forces as well as the actual weight of the vehicle. So these axles in a vehicle will not only bear the braking and the acceleration forces but they will also bear the actual weight of the vehicle. So the axle forms the center part of a structural strength of the vehicle. So whatever the structure of the vehicle is, this axle will form the central part of that structural strength and it observes the weight and also transfers forces away from the wheel in order to reduce the pressure on the joints of the vehicle. So whatever the forces are coming towards the wheel, it will transfer it away from the wheel so as to reduce the pressure on the joints of the vehicle forms central part of the structural strength of the vehicle and it observes the weight and transfers forces Away from the wheels in order to reduce pressure on the joints of the wing. So, here we can see how the axle appears. So, this is the shaft, and these are the bushes or bearings. So, here we can see a clear picture, axile and axile with wheels and gears. So, this is the axile, these are the two wheels, okay. 
and this is the differential of the automobile so we have seen what the differential actually means in our previous videos so different types of axles in vehicles so there are three different kinds of axles in vehicles what are they there are three different type of axles in what are they the first one is the straight single drive and non drive axle single drive and non drive axle then it is split axle the third one is the tandem axle we will discuss them one by one that is in straight we will discuss single drive as well as non drive axle then we will discuss the split axle and tandem axle what is the difference between these three axles will be understood when we study them in detail so the first type is the straight that is two types in straight axle there are two types that is single drive and non drive axle so first we will see what is a straight or single drive axle so straight or single drive axle so here there is no shaft so here you can see this is a single drive axle in the figure here there is only one shaft connecting the two parallel wheels so this is the shaft okay so here there will be one wheel and here there will be another wheel so two wheels are connected by one single shaft so these two are parallel wheels so we can say they are opposite to each other so the wheels are secured in place on the axle so on the axle these wheels will be secured so that is the straight or single drive axle here there is one shaft connecting two parallel wheels the wheels are both secured in place onto the axles so the rotation rate of the wheels and the direction is fixed by this axle so this axle will decide the rotation of the wheels that is the rotation rate and also the direction of the vehicle will be decided or will be depended on this axle the rotation rate and direction is fixed by the axle the benefits of this type of axle is the ability to keep the wheel position consistent and distribute the weight of heavy loads evenly so wh what is the advantage of this type of axle so this type of axle will keep the position of the wheel consistent and also it will distribute the weight of the heavy loads 
evenly onto the vehicle so if heavy load is not evenly distributed then there may be some chances of rupture of some parts of the vehicle or some joints may get disturbed but with the help of this type of axle load on the vehicle will be evenly distributed and also the position of the wheels will be consistent benefits of this type is the ability to keep the wheel position consistent and distribute the weight of heavy loads evenly so straight axles are used on the trains for the rear axle of commercial trucks and also on the heavy duty off road vehicles so where are these used the single drive axles or straight axles are used in trains for rear axles used in trains for rear axles of commercial trucks and also on heavy duty off road vehicles the next type of straight axle is the non driving axle so here you can see this is the non driving axle so this axle as the name indicates is of non driving form non driving axle so as the name is indicating this axle does not drive the wheels as in the single drive axle so here we saw that the benefits or the work of this type of axle that is the single drive axle is the ability to keep the wheel position consistent and also it will distribute the heavy loads evenly okay but in case of non drive axle it acts as front beam axle in heavy duty trucks and vans but it serves only as suspension and steering component not the driving component so such as the front beam axle in heavy trucks and vans serves only as a suspension and steering component so it is not so this axle does not have a drive but it is used along with the drive axle in order to increase the vehicle load bearing capacity so this axle does not have a drive in it so it is not helping the vehicle to move forward but it is used along with the, the drive axles so as to increase the vehicle's load bearing capacity so this axle does not have drive but it is used along with drive axles in order to increase the vehicle load bearing capacity so the next type of axle is a 
in a split axile or split axile the second type is split axile so in the split axile each wheel is attached to a separate shaft so here each wheel is attached to a separate shaft okay so for example if this is a wheel it has a separate shaft if this is one more wheel parallel to this wheel there is a separate shaft for this so why such kind of axile is needed so the purpose of this split axile is to provide a fixed position for the wheel but also to allow each wheel to move independent of the other wheel so the purpose of this type of split axile is to provide a fixed position for each wheel and also to allow this wheels independent that is they can move independent of the other so the direction of this wheel is not depended on this wheel so they can move independent of each other's direction so that is the purpose of this split axle the purpose of split axle is to provide provide a fixed position for the wheel but also to allow each wheel to move independently of the other so this type of axles are used in passenger cars so this type is used in passenger cars so this the advantage of using the split axle is that they permit the split axle will permit the use of differential and allowing the left and right drive wheels to be driven at different speeds as the automobile turns so we have already seen the work of the differential gear is the inner wheels have to move a shorter distance the outer wheels have to move a longer distance so in that case the differential will help so with the use of this split axles it becomes even more easy for the use of differential because it will allow the left and the right drive wheels to be driven at different speeds so the inner wheels can move slowly the outer wheels can move a bit faster as the automobile turns in this way it will improve the traction and also extend the tire life so split axles is being used in passenger cars mostly so split axle permit the use of a differential allowing the left and right drive wheels to be driven at different speeds as the automobile turns split axle improves traction and extends the 
entire life. The third one is the tandem. So here we can see there are three axiles which are connected to each other. So tandem axile is a group of two or more axiles situated close together. So they are situated close together. There may be two or more axiles. So is a group of two or more axiles situated close together. So vehicles used in mining and tractor applications are often required to carry extremely heavy loads. So this type of configuration that is the tandem axile configuration provides greater weight capacity than a single axile. So that is why we have to use, we can use this type of axiles in heavy load carrying vehicles, especially during the uh, vehicles which are used in mining and tractor applications. So this type of configuration that is tandem axile configuration provides a greater weight carrying capacity than a single axile. So the tandem axiles are used in the applications of vehicles where more load has to be carried. So this is all about the axiles, different types of axiles and what is the difference between the different types. So we have studied all of them briefly. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.